Hello YouTube! Welcome to the first part of my Apple Free video series. Introduced on May 15, 1980, we just have celebrated Apple Free's 40th birthday. History labeled it Apple's first failure. Let me give you my opinion on it and in the course of this mini-series an elaboration why I think it isn't. But first let me reintroduce the groundbreaking Apple III. Like our modern Macs, the Apple II and the Apple III came out of the box with operating systems. The Apple III had SOS or the Sophisticated Operating System, or as Apple called it, Apple Source. More on the Apple Source in part 3 of this series. As you can see, the Apple III came with an extensive uh, software library right out of the box. This is the Apple III system demo. On focus, and it was also with the Apple II, is graphics. Especially to appeal to business users, which didn't have anything like that at the time. Actually, there is no business PC available at that time. Remember, IBM PC was introduced a year later in 1981. It's clearly visible that Apple wanted to appeal to the business users. So it is also clear why IBM got their acts together and were building the IBM PC, because that was their domain. But things you see like here, spreadsheets, uh, which were not known at the time, would have been a very appealing argument to buy an Apple III. Something like these 3D graphic must be very appealing to a 1980 business user. This is a famous horse demo. It is stunning if you're looking through the 1980s eyes. Fun fact, Andy Hertzfeld did it as a demo for the character fonts of the Apple III. But everybody thinks it is a perfect graphic and speed demo. So this ends the introduction uh, video and please join me for part two. Thanks. We'll